Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Now let's look at modifying columns and rows in Excel. Now by default, every row and column of a new workbook is set to the same height and width. Excel allows you to modify column width and row height in different ways. Now to modify column width, so for my example, column A is too narrow to display all of the contents in these cells. Now we can make all of these contents visible by changing the width of the column. To do this, position the mouse over the column line in the column heading so that the cursor becomes a double row arrow. Then click and drag to increase or decrease the column size. So you can decrease or increase it. Make it I'll increase it, then release the mouse. And the column width will be changed. But you can also choose to out of it the column width. Please let me undo this. Now I want to out of it the column width. Just position the mouse over the column line in the column heading. And once it has become a double arrow, double click the mouse. Now the column width will be changed automatically to fit the contents in your cells. Now let's say you want to out of it several columns at the same time. Now you can do this. So let me just minimize this. I can so I can show you how to out of it these three columns at the same time. So select them. Then under home tab, go to the format command, then choose out of it column width. And as you've noticed, you can also do it with out of it row height. But I'm working with columns, so I'll select out of it column width. And as you can see, the column width will be changed automatically. Now let's look at modifying row height. Again, if I want to modify row height, let's say I want to modify the row height of this row. Uh, position, just position the cursor over the row line like this until it becomes a double arrow. Then click and drag the mouse to increase or decrease. So I'll increase mine a little bit. And as you see, the height of the selected row will be changed. Now you can modify all rows or columns. Now instead of resizing rows and columns individually, you can modify the height and width of every row and column at the same time. Now this method allows you to set a uniform size for, the, for every row and column in your worksheet. So in my example, I will set a uniform row height. So first select and locate and select all the all button key. So in my example, we will set a uniform row height. Locate and click the select all button, this one, just below the name box. So I'll select that one. And it will select every cell in the worksheet. Then position the mouse over a row line. So if I position it over here, until it becomes a double arrow, then click and drag to increase or decrease it. So I'll decrease it. After that, then release it. Now the row height will be changed for the entire worksheet as you've seen. Now let's look at inserting, deleting, moving and hiding rows and columns. Now after you've been working with a workbook for a while, you may find that you want to insert new columns or rows, delete certain rows or columns, move them to a different location in the worksheet or even hide them. Now let's look at each one of these. So I'll undo that. Now let's look at inserting rows. Select the row heading below where you want the row to appear. So first select the row heading below where you want the new row to appear. So in this example, if I want to insert a row between four and five, so I want to select to insert a new row between row four and row five, I'll select row five. Then I'll click the insert command under home tab. And a new row will be inserted above row 5 and it will be now the new row 5. So that's how you insert a new row. Now when inserting new rows, columns or cells, you'll see a paintbrush. This one over here next to the inserted cells. Now this button allows you to choose how Excel formats the cells. Now by default, Excel formats inserted rows with the same formatting cells in the row above. 
Now to access more options, hover your mouse over the icon like this, then click the drop down arrow. So uh, by default, it's format same as above. You can choose format same as below or clear formatting. Now let's look at inserting columns. So select the column heading to the right of where you want the new cell column to appear. Now for example, if you want uh, to insert a new column between cell columns D and E, select E. Select the column E, then click the insert command on the home tab. And a new column will appear and as you can see it has this paint brush option over here and it has the same options so that's how you insert columns and rows in excel now to delete a row or a column just select the row you want to delete so in my example i want to delete this so you just select it then click the delete command on home tab and it will be deleted now Again, if you want to delete a column, just do the same, select it, then click the delete command and it will be deleted. Now let's look at moving a row or a column. So in my example, I'll move a column, but you can move a row in the same way. Now select the desired column heading. Let's say I want to move this column. Then click the cut command on the home tab. Now you can also use the shortcut Control X on your keyboard. Then select the column heading to the right of where you want to move the column. Now if you want it to become between E and F, you select F. If you want to choose a new row, just click on it. But I'll insert it between E and F. So I'll select F. Then, then click the Insert command on the Home tab. This one. Then select Insert Cut Cells from the drop-down menu. And as you can see, that column has been moved from here all the way to here. So that's how you move. Now, there's another way you can do it. And you can do the same action. I'll just undo that. So once you've selected your column, like so, and click the cut command, you can come over here, then right click, then choose this option, insert cut cells. And it will be inserted over there. Now the column will be moved to the selected. So location and the columns around it will shift. Now lastly, let's look at how to hide and unhide a row or column. Now at times you might want to compare certain rows or columns without changing the organization of your worksheet. Now to do this, Excel allows you to hide rows and columns as needed. So I'll hide these columns, these three. So what you do is select the columns you want to hide. So I'll select them. Then right click the mouse and select hide from the drop down menu. And as you can see, they've been hidden and the green, there will be a green column line that indicates the location of the hidden columns. Now to unhide, select the columns on both sides of the hidden columns. So I'll select these two. Then right click on them again and select unhide. Like see. And the columns that were hidden will reappear.